Hi friends, welcome to Tutor's Funny Channel. Today I am going to start the series of series of Laravel and React. Okay, so if you are already learned, Laravel is a backend application. Backend. Backend application. Alternatives. React is a front end. So we have to know about these things. What is React? It's a backend. Laravel is a uh, Laravel is a backend. React is a frontend. Okay, you have to. You must understand these things. Okay. So when you when you run the project, first you have to run Laravel first. Second, you have to run the React. Okay. This is the server. First, you have to connect the server. After that, you have to request to the server get the response okay so that's the thing here okay so this is the backend and front end okay before you first uh, there are many students who not they are struggling with this one first you have to run the laravel first after that you have to run the react first what you are going to do is today i am going to teach this project how to install laravel and react in your machine so now what you are going to do is you have to go to the laravel so type laravel so here you have to connect the internet type laravel click on this so you have to click click on this uh, you can click over here now the Laravel latest version is 12. So here, if you want to go to the installation, simply there is here there is a file called installation. The link called installation. You click on this. It is simple. Okay. Rather than you have to go to the official side, you can simply you can install the Laravel. Okay. So you have to go below. Okay. The, these are the things they are. So the Laravel. So Windows Power Cell. Uh, you can. Okay, so here this one should be there if you already have a PHP console. First, you have to install the uh, your uh, PHP comp composer in your machine before getting installed the Laravel. Okay, that is must when you install the Laravel first. Okay, so first, what you are going to do is I am going to go to I already installed Laravel, so you have just copy this one. Okay, so I already installed the composer. If you are not installed the composer, you go to the Google and type composer. Composer download. Okay, this is the latest version. You just install here. This one you can click and download the exe file, and you have to download uh, the download and, and install in your machine. After install successfully, you have to run this command first. Click on this. Go open the G drive. You have to you have to open the folder. This folder I'm going to type here Laravel. 12 project. Here I am going to first I am going to open the cmd command, space this command, press enter key. So it will be all the composer files should be all the things are here. You have to install it. Now here your Laravel project is installing. So here you can see after install, you can see here is a project. Okay, this one. Now what you are going to do is here. I'm going to go to run the command Laravel new app. This one. Copy this. Paste on it. So we want to give the name of the project. Uh, example my app. I just give us my app. first step is possible. Now I'm going to here. You can see that there are uh, here's defaultly it says it, it select as none. If you want to select React, you can select here React and React I'm create as a different folder so that I'm not going to select here React. So press enter key. 
a task which testing framework do you prefer PC is default one press set the key now you can see the laravel project is installing you have to wait until the installation is complete this is the way we have to install the laravel uh, 12 project in your machine you have to wait until the installation has been complete Now he asked which database will your application use. So I am going to start MySQL. You have to type here over here MySQL. So type MySQL, but like this MySQL. So type MySQL. Okay, default database is updated. Would you like to run the default database migration? Uh, yes, you have to press yes. That's it. Okay, so okay, there is a problem. It's installing. You are wait until the installation complete. Now here ask there yeah, would you like to run npm install and npm run build? So I'm going to give here is no. I'm going to give you no. Uh, so you can type here application uh, ready. Okay, you can start your local development using. You can type this command cd my app. Okay, now what you're going to see here, I'm going to connect my jam server. Starting successfully. Now here was what I'm going to do. So I'm going to type this command npm install. You have to follow the instruction to do it. Now here it uh, npm installation successfully. Now what you are going to do is this project uh, I am going to install the uh, I am going to type php artisan you have type uh, you have type migrate so the would you like to create uh, my app does not work okay. so no problem so I just uh, hit ctrl c so first I am going to open this project in VS code, code space dot VS code editor. Okay, we have opened the project on VS code editor. Now you can see this is the uh, Laravel 12. Okay, so this is the uh, latest version. So we have to get the white also. So here everything is standard will be getting here. You can see over here. Okay, so the connection is here. Change and my still everything should be there. Here we have a database name. I am going to give here as any database name. I am going to give uh, DB Maya. Maya. So what you are going to do is this name. I am going to go to Control C to copy. I am going to go to create in my database. After that we can run the command. Okay. So let's see.
now click new okay i'm going to paste this one click create okay this one i have created now what you're going to do is i'm going to uh, run the project so i'm going to use it what's the command you have to run the app you have to use this command not php and this is the command you have to use it composer run test so here before that you have to paste the command you have to write it so let's open the terminal over here okay so i haven't done the migrate php artisan migrate Uh, why it's a problem my app so I am, i'm sorry i'm not saving that's why so i'm going to again you have got it oh, preparation successfully now you can run the command here or here i'm going to run it here php artisan sorry composer run dev because you have it is working as this one white right? the newest version is uh, working as the same thing php artisan composer it was working as uh, using white this is the port where it will be running there are lot of lab. so yeah this is the code it is coming like this laravel along with white just simple this is how it's working okay this is how it's working other things are same yeah you are same thing the routes and everything is are same this is the new way to run the laravel app in laravel 2 the professional way to install the Laravel to it. Thank you for watching. In uh, next day, uh, next tutorial, I'm going to teach about the React. Thank you for watching.